explosives are in place. Time for the fireworks. Would you like the honors? I know how much this means to you. That isn't triggering. Must be interference from the wind. Uh, it doesn't look like it did much. The windmill's still standing. Hey, look, the rotor's still spinning. Vincenzo's calculations. They must be off. is fixed in a flash. Gotta see this through. It's what are you doing? An armed bomb? Before the PKs get here. Giving you an armed... Um, ah, ah, armed... Can't rely on radio detonation. Not with all the interference. What now? This one is guaranteed to blow up the whole windmill. All right, how much time do I have? Let me count. Hmm. It'll blow any second. Run! But where am I supposed to put it? Where? You have to go back. A and? And plant it on. Uh, place it on. Put it on. The Right in the middle of the windmill? I can finish my own sentences! Thank you very much! Plant it, plant it where? On the generator? No! Not there! On the rota! You have to climb up to the rota! To the very top? You serious? The bomb's ticking. You really think we have time for jokes?
on. Faster. Go on. <sighs> Alberto? Coming! You sons of bitches! What have you done to him? Still be standing. Almost like the fireworks in 90. Uh, 90. Uh, even. Ah, oh, man. I'm old. And you'll just keep getting older. Quit the bullshit, Aiden. I'm not that adult. Thanks for helping me. <laughs> I know what they think of me. Of course I know. <coughs> Tell everyone we pulled this off thanks to Vincenzo. Okay. <coughs> That's thanks to you, Alberto. No. Thanks to a Vincenzo, okay? They laugh at him. Laugh because of me. <laughs> but now that we've done this, they won't laugh anymore. See, he's, he's old man's, huh? Not a cook or a, or a failure anymore. Force the peacekeepers to withdraw. Say it was him. Promise me. All right. Okay. Oh, and tell him. Tell him that. That's okay. I'll tell him. That I'm proud. Never told him that. Son, I'm proud of you. 
I'll tell him for you. I promise. I still have to take care of. You don't get it. There's no time to waste. We can make our way to the center now. Everyone's too busy to notice. I promised Alberto I'd tell his son something for him. Do you want to finish your business or play shepherd spreading the good word? Well, it's bad news, Hakan. Alberto is dead. I see. But the metro is empty. There might never be another chance like this. Are you sure? I have to go find Vincenzo, Hakon. I promised. A night fucking errand. Hurry! Remember Sarah and Yana. Find me at their place when you're done. If you're still alive. Uh, excuse me? cleaned up. Didn't put up much of a fight. Yeah, because they're cowards. Told you before. What about the prisoners? Throw them in the dungeon? Unless you feel like banging them first. Look. It's Chubbs. They killed Chubbs? Looks like it. But only him, I think. We gotta tell Anderson. Yeah, but where is she? Should have been here ages ago. I'll look for her. Hope we see some action soon.
You're free. I thought it was over, man. I can't believe Carl betrayed us. Fuck, Pilgrim. At first I thought you gave us up. But Carl... If it wasn't for him, the Peacekeepers wouldn't have attacked. But he fled right after the blast. There are more on the upper level. Okay, I'll go there. You run. Don't be scared. It's safe now. Thank you. Hey, Sophie. So where's Vincenzo? Aiden, watch out! Aiden's gonna pay me hella gold for you! Cut! Shit! <laughs> Guy wasn't even worth a golden shower. Get up, Aiden. Thanks, man. That makes us even. It's not over yet. Aiden! Aiden! Come on, you coward! Ooh. Come down and fight! You better get out of here, Anderson. You're on bizarre turf. Look, tell Aiden there's still time to call this off. Why would he do that? We're winning. You're stupider than I thought. Come down and fight, and stop using your bizarre buddies as human shields. Aiden, no! Didn't like the sound of that. Ready to dance? We meet again. Aiden, we have reports that Aider's men are retreating. The plan worked. We took out their lights and the infected tore them to pieces. They don't stand a chance without him. Aider withdrew his men. They're in the metro tunnels. We're not getting to the center that way. Carl betrayed us. He's the one who went to the peacekeepers and warned them. Claimed he wanted to prevent bloodshed, but made things worse. But now, I run the bazaar. And I promise, we will defeat Ador. And I will take you to the central loop. Sophie runs the bazaar! For Sophie! <laughs> you know how many PK creeps it takes to screw in a light bulb? None! Because they're too dead to screw anything! <laughs> Alberto's dead. <laughs> Don't be a buzzkill, Aiden. Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. He was killed taking down the windmill. How'd it happen? We put Vincenzo's plan into motion, but then... Alberto had to go in his son's place. Sacrificed himself to blow up the windmill. Fuck me. To Alberto! To Alberto! So... Where's Vincenzo? He's outside. Look around. Vincenzo. <laughs> we did it, Aiden. My dad, he really did it. Your father wanted me to tell you, um, he's always been proud of you. Very proud. What? Why are you telling me this and not him? He died, Vincenzo. Died for the bazaar. Was he in pain when he died? No, he was all smiles because of you. 
and because he was able to carry out your plan. Thanks for being there with him, Aiden. Your dad kicked ass, Vincenzo. Yeah, Alberto's all right. Hell of a craftsman. For a loser, you mean. For a failure. That's what you used to say. If only we had more like Alberto, the PKs would have been gone ages ago. You, go in and check on Vincenzo. Now! You did a freaking awesome job, Aiden. We'll beat the PK, and we'll help you get to the center. You're one of us now, brother. You're part of the Bazaar family. Thanks, Barney. Good luck. Good luck, Pilgrim. Hey, Hakon. Where are you? I'm waiting for you at the girl's place. You better hurry, Aiden. The passage to the center. It's blocked. I have another idea. Just come quickly. Time is not on our side. Okay. I'm coming. But whoever carved the skin off that commander was a certified psycho.
through the ringer. He spit out who killed me. No way. You serious? So, ain't that amazing? It's glowing now. Look. But it was a glowing. Nobody? Ever again? That sounds a bit extreme. Well, you think so? What do you think is the first step in loving yourself? Hey, are, are you some kind of spiritual guru trying to recruit me? Oh, no, please. I'm very down to earth. Hanging around near the metro station in considerable safety and all. But I used to be a florist down in Trinity. I had a shop there, the Blooming Tulip, near the bazaar, when it was still the Church of the Holy Trinity. I was raised in an orphanage among a multitude of apathetic people. <laughs> Maybe that's why I turned to flowers. But after the outbreak, people stopped buying them. Well, that's understandable. Certainly, but... Uh, there was this old lady. I basically kept the store open just for her. She'd come every day, as if nothing had changed. Her visits <laughs> were the highlight of my day. Until one day she didn't show. What happened to her? Her flowers ate her alive. How should I know? I was growing these special pink roses for her. It was her last order. And I simply couldn't throw them all away. So I kept one of the roses and dried it. Just for her. She'd be delighted to know that you never forgot her. Yeah. If only I could get that rose to her. Could you take it? She never said where she lived precisely, but I asked her once where she kept all her flowers. She said, in a beautiful house made of glass, where the old mound used to be. Here, take the rose. Please find the house and give it to her, if she's still there. <laughs> 